Hey guys, and welcome to a bit of a different Kerbal Space Program uh, video. Um, I decided I want to start showcasing the mods I use. Um, everything down to the little toolbars and extras I use to the big mods, like Interstellar um, Quest, Interstellar Pack. I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but that's not what we're covering today anyway. Um, I will still continue with the Hawk Space Program, even though I've been a little bit slow about it. Um, but I, I've noticed so many people don't know how to use these different mods, know of these different mods, and I figured I'll just show off some of them and show you guys what... Um, what these root mods are really capable of and I also wanted to teach myself how to use a lot of these mods going through the forums looking at how to use them what how different people use them and so without further ado we will get into our first mod for this first mod we're going to use my uh, Hawks Space program career build with all the mods installed particularly because this first mod we're going to cover uh, doesn't really work unless you have any mods installed using it but um, the first mod we're going to cover is this little toolbar right up here in the corner this toolbar can be found on the main screen of course in this vehicle assembly building the space plane hangar and of course while you're using the rockets um, the first thing you'll really want to be able to do with this thing is be able to change the size, uh, the the orientation and where it can go. So let's say you want it on the top where I have it, maybe on the bottom, or maybe on the edge of the screen like you'll see here in just a second. But you can do that with this mod. It's very versatile on where you can put it, and um, which is very nice. It, it just it adds to the fact that all the buttons are in one place and you can move it around and reshape it or whatever you want to do with it. Next up is folders. I don't use these too much but I can see where they would be helpful. Um, you can name them to just about anything you want to and put any of the buttons from the hotbar into this. Um, it's also a good time to show that you can change the button order by clicking that right there and dragging them around as you can see as I failed to get them into the folder. Um, you can have as many buttons as you want and you click on that little folder and they all disappear. It's good to mention you can't draw, drag this thing off screen and you can also auto hide it if it's on the edge of the screen. So that's another nice thing. A few more things to mention are the visual things. Uh, you can hide the border and right here you really can't see it because it's night. But if you also wanted the original KSP look, you can also have that if you so please. One last note, um, not all mods do support the toolbar. Uh, some mods just do not have it coded in them yet. It is a mod side, not the toolbar side, to make sure it is coded into the toolbar. Uh, you'll find the occasional mod that doesn't, but most of them do work. So that about covers the toolbar plugin. A simple mod that makes your KSP window just so much more clean. Um, a download link will be supplied in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments. But until next time, guys, I will see you guys later.